I don't understand <laughs> what, what's going wrong in our world in which it, it, any school district is encouraging this. Uh, it just seems like it doesn't belong. And I say that as and a just, I have to pause real quick. Look at the, um, the Chiron here. PA teachers encouraged to attend kink, trans sex, and BDSM workshop. I don't know what this story is, but I can assume they're grossly misrepresenting it. But nonetheless, I want to get to the, the uh, highlight here. Uh, right. You and I are in the room with, I think, every other parent, right, who says... First of all, one, do not introduce this stuff to my kids. Lady, do you honestly think that teachers are teaching your children about BDSM? Please tell me that you don't actually believe that. Holy shit. And it is up to me to decide when I want to disseminate that information to my children. At what age are you as a parent going to have this conversation with your kid about BDSM, Jennifer? When is that going to happen? When your kid turns 18, you're going to be like, okay, so your father and I want to have a conversation about um, BDSM. So this is our collection of um, whips and chains. <laughs> like, Are you ever going to have this conversation with your kid? I mean, you should talk to your kids about sex. Absolutely. But be real. And not for anyone else. And all of this hype and everyone feeling so good about it, it is absolutely disgusting. What happened to the days where, and I'm sorry to, to lay this on men, but boys would have a Playboy stuck under their bed and it would be hidden and no one knew that they were looking at it. Or the days of pornography, you know, pornographic videos, that is all gone. There is nothing that is 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 sacred and is... Uh, it's something for parents to deal with with their kids. It is all out in the open. And the fact that we are paying these people with our tax dollars to go out and promote this because uh -huh. this is the school uh -huh. district, which is paid for by taxpayer dollars, should have everyone, whether you're a parent or not, really agitated. Okay, as they're like talking about this, I have seen nothing here that looks um, remotely controversial. I brought up the conference. We'll look at that. But um, I'm going to have to break it to her, aren't I? What's her name again? Jennifer Nassour. Jennifer, the reason why you're not finding Playboys under your son's beds, and you might want to be sitting down for this, Jennifer, is because they're watching pornography on their phones now. Yeah. Yep. They're still doing the same thing. Just now, there are different mediums. See, now, in 2022, we have this thing called the internet and a lot of people consume media books movies music through the internet now so there's no need for kids to get a playboy i mean if they walked into a store i don't know if they could per I, I don't think that they'd be allowed to purchase it when i worked at walmart we had a lot of restrictions like kids couldn't buy m-rated video games um so i'd imagine that you couldn't do that but i mean a kid could just go online and uh look at porn so the fact that you didn't know this either says that you're naive or stupid or something else but i mean for her to say this I, I have no words now let's look at this conference here so the claim is that they are trying to teach children about bdsm right is that what they want so let's let's read about this to see how controversial this really is um join thousands of transgender non-binary gender variant people and their allies when they come together in the name of trans wellness in all senses of the word at the largest free conference in the world so this is just like trans people getting together for wellness why is that bad Are, is it just trans teachers and their allies uh, like i'm trying to figure out why if they're trying to outrage farm how are they getting that from this general and continuing education track registration exhibitors and sponsors and registration not seeing anything yet going virtual um about documenting our history okay let's read all of it this is only a couple of paragraphs the philadelphia trans wellness formerly trans health conference was founded and developed by charlene arkilla ben singer and june dizon dizon along with countless other community members we at the mazzoni center want to do our best to utilize the resources and information we currently have to access to to lift up the crucial work of charlene on the conference and beyond we understand that the history presented here is not the only story to be told and we're committed to seeking out ways to elevate the work of others who've played 
pivotal roles in the conference's growth that work is still ongoing. If you have information and or materials, okay, this is literally not saying anything. Let me just do a really quick control F and uh, search for BDSM. Nothing, nothing, uh, kink, nothing, sex, okay. So we have some searches for sex. So this, this is the issue seemingly, life in Philadelphia, um, when Charlene arrived in Philadelphia, she began working for uh, the Philadelphia AIDS Consortium, whose mission is to ensure the availability and coordination of comprehensive and integrative health and social services to individuals who experience lack of affordable health care, HIV, sexually transmitted diseases. So that's when uh, it, it came out. Uh, sexually transmitted diseases, talking about prevention. Um, okay, so maybe, maybe it's not going to be in the about page. What about safety and health? COVID update. Um, okay, there's a lot of text. They're not going to read it. Let's just do a quick control F, BDSM, nothing, uh, sex, nothing, kink, nothing. Folks, I don't get it. So again, the uh, Chiron led us to believe here that PA teachers encouraged to attend kink, trans, sex, and BDSM workshop. Where is this quote? Where is this? And first of all, this is for adults. It's a health and wellness conference. So why on earth would that be bad? This is actually good, unironically so. I think that adults should have more options like this. They should have more resources. I think making the personal connections is really important. I just, I don't get it. I don't get it. Conservatism is a mind disease and they're very clearly looking for something to be outraged over. I mean, remember the time when uh, it was the left that was supposedly the snowflakes. Remember that? Now we have conservatives quite literally outrage farming over a fucking health and wellness conference for trans people. Nothing here. Nothing here that is bad at all. I see nothing. Strategic meetings management. Is there anything here? I mean, oh, nope. That's just like some, how to plan meetings or some shit. Like, if it's going to be very outrageous, like if they're looking for outrage, you shouldn't have to dig that deep, right? You shouldn't have to look at every single link here on this page. But yet I did and I found nothing. It's just a matter of, oh, well, this is for trans people and, uh, you know, PA teachers are encouraged to attend this. Okay. See, this is the uh, over-sexualization of, you know, LGBTQIA plus people. They maybe are just automatically associating this with um this conference because they view you know gay people trans people as inherently promiscuous i'm not necessarily sure but all it takes to dismantle one of their talking points is to literally take like one minute to google what they're talking about and then you realize oh my god they're grossly misrepresenting what they're talking about or they're just fabricating an issue they're making up something so yeah conservatism in america in 2022 still the same it's never going to change